In this video we're going to be checking out the top 5 best Canon cameras in this year. I made this list based on products features, online popularity, consumers reviews, brand reputation, prices and more. I've included options for every type of consumer. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description down below. Ok, so let's get started with the video. Number 1. Canon EOS R. This Canon camera is one of the best mirrorless Canon cameras out there, it has a great handling and an excellent AF performance. It has a new Digic 8 processing engine and a great ISO range of 100 to 40,000. For new RF lenses are being launched with the OSR, the RF 24 to 105 mm f 4L is USM, RF 28 to 70 f 2L USM, RF 50 mm f 1.2 USM, and RF 35 mm f 1.8 or STM macro. Too many Canon users have been waiting for the EOS R, the question is will it satisfy them? Canon delivers to us a pretty cool design, with dimensions of 5.3 by 3.9 x 3.3 slash 135.8 by 98.3 by 84.4 mm, it weights around 1.45 pounds slash 660 G with battery and memory card and it feels great on hands. It has a built-in EVF with 3.69 million dots, very angle touchscreen, and dot matrix LCD panel. The EOSR has a redeveloped lens mount and an updated full-frame image sensor for a unique multimedia camera system. It has plenty of modes, aperture priority, bulb, custom, intelligent auto, manual, shutter priority, and programmed auto. It blasts a 30.3 megapixel full-frame with CMOS sensor and Digic 8 image processor, and maybe it doesn't provide resolution options for higher frame rates but this doesn't mean that you can't take the photo you were looking for. It's very simple and easy to use even if you haven't shot Canons, before I am pretty sure that you will find that it's easy to navigate. Moving on Canon delivers a superb autofocus for static subjects, it focuses very quickly and it's pretty accurate even in low light conditions. The company claims that the EOS R can focus down to dash 6 EV when using an f 1.2 lens which is pretty awesome based on my research about the digital cameras and I can say that it offers excellent AF performance compared to other mirrorless cameras. Also, it does a brilliant job when it comes to focus tracking but not on low light, as while it perhaps doesn't give us the resolution and dynamic range as the pricier 42MP and 45MP sensor rivals, clearly is the pick of Canon sensor arsenal at the moment. To sum up I would say that the EOS R was created to be the means to make the most of a new series of lenses and optical technologies. Number 2. Canon EOS 80D. As we move on we have an excellent camera that makes an extraordinary upgrade from the 70D. If you are looking for a camera that has an extensive feature set with plenty of control options but not a full-on professional-grade camera, this is it. It provides the user with amazing results with plenty of detail. This one features a 24 million pixel sensor with a Digic 6 processing engine this means that it's one step higher than the 70D. It was launched back in 2016 but still, it's one of best Canon cameras for anyone upgrading from a cheaper model. It has a sensor size of 22.5 by 15 mm with a CMOS type with 24.2 megapixel and captures high resolution images. Noise is controlled well and although some detail is lost, it still looks pretty good. As it comes to the design, I have to say that it looks beautiful and simple, the majority of the button controls are located on the right side of the camera and on the back and top plate which are pretty easy to reach as you are holding slash using the camera. However some buttons like the AF, drive, and metering, are designed for use in conjunction with the main dial while you look at the secondary LCD screen, it works well but many will find the touch control afforded by the main screen on the back of the camera more useful. The company doesn't consider the image quality the main thing but makes it available for use if it's needed, it has a way better autofocus system than the 70D, it works perfectly keeping fast moving subjects sharp even in low light. ADD's AF system has a total of 16 customization options in the menu, these can be useful options, however, the photographer requires a good understanding of the subject and the shooting conditions. If you really want a different image quality, then you have to play with the controls a little bit and get the result you want because the image quality isn't the main objective when it comes to the defaults. I would say that this camera gives you good results as long as you are not a fan of filters. Number 3. Canon EOS 6D Mark II. We move on with the EOS 6D Mark II comes with a 35.9 by 24 mm CMOS sensor, this camera does a great job when it comes to performance and speed. It has a total of 27.10 megapixels with a sensor resolution of 6269 by 4160, it weights around 765G and it was launched in 2017. It has a comfy grip and refined touchscreen control. 
When it comes to the sensor it has a full-frame CMOS sensor, and this one boasts Canon's Digic 7 processing engine, which is capable of processing information some 14 times faster than the Digic 6. It can shot at 6.5 frames per second and this sensor uses Canon's dual-pixel CMOS AF sensor to deliver fast phase detection autofocus, so live view and movie AF are faster and smoother than the Mark I. The EOS 6D Mark II is a great camera to hold and use, it's crafted from a mixture of aluminum alloy and polycarbonate with glass fiber, even though it doesn't have a pro feel, it still seems pretty well because of the grip that is perfectly sculpted and the camera fits very comfortably in the hand. When it comes to the layout of buttons and controls it has a large LCD display on the top plate with plenty of information and it's nearly identical with the EOS 6D, so if you have used that one, you should feel right at home with the Mark II. The AF is impressive because it does a great job it is more adequate for the everyday shooting of mostly static subjects when it comes to AF in live view and movie modes it is quite amazing thanks to Canon's dual pixel AF system. I should mention that Mark II offers better autofocus with the mirror locked up than it does in viewfinder shooting mode. In summary Mark II's performance is very good indeed, here too, the image quality isn't the main focus but it's perfect for this camera's market. It has a nice noise control, with rather heavy-handed edge sharpening. Overall, this camera is one of the best Canon cameras out there and feels very nicely made, it is an excellent choice for amateurs and professionals that are looking for an affordable all-rounder. Number 4. Canon EOS 90D. The Canon EOS 90D is the DSLR version of the mirrorless EOS M6 Mark II since the specs are nearly the same, Canon here lets buyers choose what type of shooting they want, a smaller and lighter mirrorless model or a mid-size DSLR with an optical viewfinder. It comes with a 32.5 MP CMOS sensor, and it uses Canon's Digic 8 processor. It has a max resolution of 6960 by 4640 it is weather-resistant, has headphone, microphone, and USB-C ports. This one is a DSLR that functions better when used in live view, thanks to the excellent dual-pixel AF system. This model is a fraction wider than the ADD, but it is a bit thinner, and it feels extremely comfortable to use because it's aluminum alloy, polycarbonate resin, and it wouldn't bother the photographer even over long durations. It has an 8-way joystick on the rear of the camera which is pretty cool, however, the addition of the joystick means that some of the buttons have been moved around a little. It has a very responsive touch-enabled display. When it comes to AF, this model uses two separate AF systems, this depends on whether you're shooting through the viewfinder or using live view, and the AF spread and several points are much greater in live view. If you let most options to their defaults, the camera will automatically select a subject, generally the nearest subject or face in the scene, nevertheless this can be changed so that you can manually choose your main subject from a focus point. If you want an excellent raw image quality both detail capture and dynamic range this is what you are looking for, it has a lovely optical finder and a pleasing JPEG color. I would like to mention that it has a good battery life too. This camera is capable of turning out excellent images, but in terms of performance, it's best when the mirror is locked up. Anyone who is seeking an easy-to-use DSLR this model is one of them. Number 5. Canon EOS 5 DSR. This one is a high MP camera with lots of great specifications, but as you know you shouldn't be based all at the specs, the question is how does this camera work in everyday life and does it give you the picture you are looking for? Let's find it out. The EOS 5 DSR is a 50.2 MP camera, it uses dual digit 6 processor and it has a max resolution of 8688 by 5792 it doesn't have an image stabilizer but that isn't big of a deal when it comes to this camera. EOS 5 DSR has a secondary LCD screen on the top plate, and this one is a bit sharper, the quick menu is already very good and it's very easy to use. Canon is one of the best when it comes to the logical configurations, it has nearly the same body the 5D3 and the advantage of this is that you can share many accessories, battery grips, underwater housing, etc. This Canon camera has good specs, maybe not good enough for serious sports or wildlife shooters but surely great for many other applications. As we know good autofocus is very important, and the AF system here looks pretty well, it tracks the subject pretty well, however, the best result comes from a single point shooting. Okay so, we know that this is a high megapixel camera, and most people buy it because of the 50 MPs, however as I said you shouldn't be based all at the specs or the megapixels but try to focus on the thing you are looking for, anyway, this camera has a great picture quality. The high resolution of the sensor means that every focus error is made visible. This camera offers high image quality, good buffer, and it is user-friendly, and let's not forget that it has a beautiful viewfinder image. EOS 5 DSR is great and easy to use a camera, for those who are familiar with Canon cameras, I would highly recommend this one.